Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all over the world. In a dream, I came up with this harebrained idea to use two sets of alligator clips on bases. This one I can adjust and set it in the ship, and this other one. It's got a big counterweight bolted to it that I can set on some blocks or paint cans or whatever to get it to the right height. And it's just a matter of grabbing the string and laying it in there to match the line on the paper and scratching it out and putting the glue to it. So obviously I gotta wait a little while before I cut those tails and move on to the next one. So in the meantime, while waiting, I'm prepping up similar to what we did with the wooden dowel for the rat line access to the crow's nest. We need to do the same thing up top so we can put our dead eyes on and then make the last run of shrouds up to the very top of the mast. So we gotta do that on the foremast and the main mast. I got the foremast done on one side with a little piece of brass rod and some strings tied on both sides and glued and then I just got to put that in and tie it off. And as I tie it off, I loop through the middle ropes to hold them in the right distance apart and then put glue on it once it's tied. So that way we've got a nice solid structure to link up to our dead eyes because the dead eyes are going to have quite a bit of force pulling on them as we uh, do the lacing in between the two dead eyes and hook it together so we got to have something strong down here to hold that force so that's what i'm doing in the meantime i'm rigging these up and tying them on and then when i get the other ones done i'll start working on dead eyes up there on those two masts so I just did this one with the uh, string and the glue. And once I'm a few minutes in, I can cut that. And then I'll just run a new piece of string in here and raise it up to the right height and then glue it with the Hobby Town glue. The thick and the thick works good because it doesn't just soak into the string real fast and disappear. The string is like a sponge. And I'm able to put a blob on there and that blob helps grab both pieces of string And lock them together so that is working good I just got to keep myself busy with other things as I let that dry for five minutes or so and then come back to it and put another string on there and glue it let it dry and go to do something else so that's what we're doing now so this clamp is there to hold the spread on the shrouds while the glue dries where that rope is laced in between the shrouds against that little brass rod to hold them in place the right distance apart for later on when we start tying on the tails to the dead eyes so 
you can see the ropes in the back there for those shrouds are too close together at the very top where we're going to do that at so that's what this is helping me accomplish so once that dries we'll cut these tails off take the clamp off and move to the next one so I'm at the point now where I'm going to glue another string there and then I'm going to sit down and lace or not lace but tie up another dead eye that I can install on this front mast. I think this one's dry enough that I can install some dead eyes on there. And I'm looking for the holes. There's one there and there's one there. We got to check the plans and see. There are only two or three shrouds on that. You see the we're not showing that part. This is the bottom. Okay. Four mast. Yeah, there's three. There's three on that top crow's nest. Okay. We probably got to drill them holes out. We got this bit ready. And we'll find out where they're at. Hopefully they're in the right spot. We had some down here that were in the wrong spot. Because I glued this crow's nest on backwards. The whole time I was building these crow's nests, I was thinking, or these masts with the with the other mast poles in the crow's nest, putting them all together as one piece. I was thinking that this thing faced the other way. You know, where this is in the back instead of the front. And I was wrong. So when we turned around, this was wrong. We lucked out on that one. And that one. Maybe that was the first one we did and it was all messed up. I had all three of the masks glued in and I had to bust them loose and turn them around. After I was already working on these standing rigging, I had like four or five of those done and realized that all three of the masks were backwards. What a mess. We got her fixed up, so let me rig this into the tripod here. You can see. I'll zoom in a little bit. And let's glue one of these up. Show you what I'm doing. Much easier than trying to hold them. Hold the string there with tweezers and everything. So I'm just getting a piece of my thread. That I know is going to be long enough to span between those two alligator clips. Making sure that the alligator clip has really got a bite on the string. And then I just adjust these So I want to push that back a little bit, but it won't go back anymore because of the railing of the ship. So I can adjust this arm where it pivots there. Get those strings down to match where the line on the paper is. 
a little bit too much glue. Let it suck back in. Get some on the top and the bottom of that string. Make sure it's lined up with the line on the paper and we're done. We'll just let that sit there for a while and dry. And now we'll get ready to punch out some more dead eyes and rig them up so we can tie off some dead eyes up here. Okay, slowly but surely we're making our way up. Gluing them rat lines on. This is definitely working a lot easier than trying to hold it with tweezers or whatever. So while I let that dry, I went over here and laced this up to the bottom dead eyes and then do the top dead eyes tie them off and lace them together so I'm doing all that in the vise and then bringing the pieces up there's a ready so in between each piece the bottom dead eye and I'll come over and do a rope on the rat line then I'll do another one in the vise and tie it up mount it on there and then come over and do another one on the rat line so That'll get me three more, I think, on this crow's nest up to the top. And to the point where I'll have to turn the ship around to do the ones on the other side. So what I'll do instead of turning the ship around, because i got a lot more right lines on this side to do, is go ahead and make up all the rest of the dead eyes for the other side and leave them in a pile all we got to do is lace them in there in time so <clears throat> I noticed in one of the tutorials on the CD they had these little boards that you could buy from Artesia Latina and of course this is their catalog came out 2022 and the model we're building is on the cover of the catalog and one of the tools they offer is these boards that you can lay in there behind the shrouds and do a whole bunch of rat lines at one time just by putting them on the board and going around and around and around until you get all the way up and then gluing everything. So that would do a whole mast at one time, most of the way up anyway. So I didn't even think to buy those when I was buying tools. I bought this set of rigging tools and I think I bought one of these sets I can't remember which one but I got six or so of those shaping tools and a few other odds and ends but I didn't buy those boards for the rat lines oh uh, yeah I bought the uh, LED kit to put lighting on So they do have a lot of tools to offer to make your job easier. I've got a bending tool like that. It's a different one though. And then parts. I got extra parts which is nice because 
if you run out of something you can order more on the last ship I built the HMS Bounty ended up ordering more nails so we still have a long way to go and evidence of that is all these pewter pieces left plus all the rigging and the sails and we still got a lot of blocks that we got to drill holes in oh my goodness we're going to be on this for, this will be a two year ship time we get done here so let me sit down and rig up some more dead eyes while this is drying I just glued that one up That was so satisfying to cut all those tails off. Came out pretty good. That's the way to do it. Nice and straight. No sags. But one it's a little saggy there but on to the next one thanks for watching